Do you think we need a couple guns? No. Guns? Yes, guns. No, we don't need any guns. Did you know that 32% of people who own handguns and use them in a confrontation with an intruder wind up getting killed with their own weapon? Well, 36.5% of Americans own a gun. That means that nearly two-thirds don't. Well, yours means that two-thirds of the people who owned a gun and used it against a bad guy did not get killed. <laughs> I made my statistic up to make myself sound smarter. Did you? No, I read mine on the internet. The but internet. The point valid is valid source hey, material. You could maybe handle like one guy breaking in here unless he was really big or shot you right off the bat. Anything more than that and we're toast. Oh. Well, thanks. Look, the world is going to shit Aiden in case you hadn't noticed and we're, we're so not prepared. I mean, we don't even have flashlights. We do too. That work or extra batteries or water bottles. We have beer and coffee. Very funny, but I'm not just talking about an earthquake. I'm talking like, like global economic collapse and anarchy and revolution. Book of Revelation, the end times. The full brain-eating horsemen of the zombie apocalypse! Shut up! I'm being serious. Can you be serious with me for a minute? God, you know I hate it when you make fun of me. I'm not. I just don't see the point of cast catastrophizing everything. I'm not catastrophizing, Aiden. I'm planning ahead, you know, be prepared and all that. And you know what I'm prepared for? Look, if you were going to survive a, a revolutionary situation or a paramilitary takeover, or God forbid, a real zombie apocalypse, you have to admit that a bunker is our best bet, right? Am I right? Okay, in this hypothetical situation, where exactly would this bunker be? I don't know. Montana, maybe? <laughs> There are a lot of the kind of people you'd want on your team when shit hits the fan. <laughs> yeah. Or a lot of the kind of people who would shoot you for trespassing. New Mexico, then. It's warmer there, plus you could build some sort of solar panel thing that connects to a generator, and then we'd have electricity. I, you know, I don't know how to do any of that kind of stuff. We could figure it out together. I mean, there's got to be something on the internet that shows us how to do that. Uh, internet. Internet. That vast source of authoritative knowledge. So what are we gonna eat? Because I'm assuming, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, that we're not gonna eat people. So would we stop being vegetarian? Because I might have to kill deer and bunnies. You know I am not gonna eat Bambi. You might have to in order to survive. I guess in a life or death situation, we might have to eat meat but we would only kill something if we really, really had to. It's good to know. And then we would apologize for killing it. <coughs> you can't be so picky in a zombie apocalypse. You're making fun of me again. No, I'm not, I'm just- I'm just saying that, uh, that we should think about these things because you can't go live in a bunker if you hadn't planned ahead and built one. Well, and, and, and you can't just decide to, to build a bunker at the last minute after there's already been an apocalypse because everyone else would be trying to build one then. What if we never needed one, babe? Then we would have just spent a bunch of money building something just in case. We could make it into a bunker and breakfast. A bunker. survivalist 
bunker and breakfast where we train people how to be prepared for the zombie apocalypse. That sounds like a pretty significant career shift. But I'm we not could sure. both work from home and you could quit your shitty sellout job that you hate anyhow and you would be home to help out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know that shitty sellout job is what supports us here. And stay home to do what? Protect you against zombies? God. How am I supposed to count on you in the apocalypse? You know, if the real apocalypse hits, I might not even be here. I might get raptured. Wait, so you're saying that I'd be stuck down here with the Antichrist, getting my ass tattooed with the mark of the beast, and you'd be, what, off strumming a harp? Not a harp. A ukulele, maybe. God, you can't even protect us against a couple of intruders without a gun. I'm so screwed. <sighs> Look, Danny, listen. The best way to protect yourself against an intruder isn't even having a gun. You know what they say you're supposed to do? You're supposed to get out of the house and get to a neighbor's and call for help. What? And nine times out of ten, the intruder leaves before the police even get here. Nine times out of ten? Yeah. Nine times out of ten. You so just made that up right now. God, you piss me off when you make these lame-ass arguments from non-existent authority. How the hell am I supposed to depend on you for... I swear, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> Danny, honey? Leave me alone, asshole! Danny. Can you please open the door? Look, I'm sorry. I wasn't making fun of you. I was just... How am I supposed to count on you for anything? You said you'd go off and get raptured and leave me alone to deal with the Antichrist. Well, in all fairness, I don't think you can just say, I'm sorry, would you please not rapture me? My understanding is that it just kind of happens and you disappear. You said you'd just abandon us if an intruder broke in. You'd just leave us to be tortured or killed while you go off to get help? Babe, I just said that's what you're supposed to do. We were just talking, you know, joking around. I didn't mean to... Annie, honey. You're pregnant? You're having a baby? We're having a baby? Danny, honey, come here. You're a baby. Happy anniversary a day early. I was waiting to tell you tomorrow night at dinner. I'm sorry, Aiden, I, I know we had it. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know, I, I wouldn't have. A baby, we're having a baby. We have to make some plans. We have to we have to get ready for this, Danny. We have to get our shit together. <sighs> We're gonna need that bunker. <laughs> this new 